What's up guys, we are back again with another tutorial and today we're going to be doing a cross-platform server again using Geyser and Floodgate. However, there is a bit of a difference, I just wanted to update this. We've had one change in the config files and that has affected all the previous videos. Um, so this will be a new one, it's 1.18 plus and it should work for all the ongoing versions until any other changes have been made. And before we get into this, um, I've hit my next goal of 600 subs, which is super, super exciting. That actually happened a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be, so I'm just going to put the next goal up to 700 so let's push for that guys if you haven't already like uh, the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let's get on with the video So we're going to be heading over to geysermc.org. If you haven't got it downloaded already, we're going to go to download. And of course, like I mentioned, and on the title, we're going to be getting geyser and floodgate. Um, the reason for this is easier connection. Bedrock can go straight through without having the sign in screen. So from that geyser download, it's taken us to the branch master page and we're going to be getting the geyser spigot version. Um, I'm actually going to take this off, delete it because I've literally just downloaded it a minute ago. Um, but obviously go ahead, keep that. As you can see, they already have got them um, and we're going to go to the top again so guys at MC this is the important part and how to find floodgate we'll go through here we're going to go down to floodgate we're going to go down to master from master we're going to go to floodgate spigot and we're going to download that as well of course I'm just going to remove it because I already have it but just keep them two files those are the only two files that you're going to need now back to the server and if you're not using yourself a server already head on over to seekerhost.co we have some super affordable servers on here really easy instant startup you can go ahead and create your cross platform server on it so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be stopping the server now I am running on paper 118.1 of course the plugins are for spigot however I just recommend using paper it's uh, it's much more optimized um, and it works for either bucket or spigot plugins so realistically it's going to be your best bet so we're going to be stopping our server first and now we're going to upload the plugins of course you can use your um, files and then your FTP access however I do prefer to use FileZilla um, I'll have a tutorial popping up now if you don't know how to use it it's free it's easy you can transfer many files or large files without it getting timed out so I do much prefer it uh, make sure to connect using your host username password and port that you get from your FTP file access when you click on there all the information is listed on there. Now with my server files on the right hand side, I'm going to open up plugins and on the left hand side I have got my two plugins right here. Now if you're struggling to find them on FileZilla, just move them to a desktop folder or somewhere that's easier. Of course if you've just downloaded them and they're just on your downloads, you might have a thousand downloads and this is in alphabetical order so you won't find them straight away. Um, so just move them to a file where it's just quite easy, highlight them both and I'm just going to drag them into the plugin folder. Once that's done, we can simply close down FileZilla, we don't need that anymore, and we're going to go and start up our server. Once the server has started back up, ironically, we're going to have to close it straight back down again. However, what we need to do now is we're going to be changing some of the config files. This is all you need to do once you've done this. Everybody can log on, and we're all ready to go. So let's just go over to config files now. You're going to find your guy, uh, your config.yml for the geyser spigot config right here. So you want to look for this line, and it's going to be on the left-hand side. Click this, and this is where we can make the changes. What I would recommend at this point is having another tab open or just have copied over your IP and your port for your server because you're going to need to copy these over in a sec so I'm just going to go ahead and copy the port first. So we've got our 25573 that's our port for our server the first thing that we're going to do is on this line right here under the bedrock section so we're on the bedrock section and we're going to come to the port highlight this and we're going to paste it right in. Make sure that you are leaving a space between the colon and the numbers, and then we're just going to make our way down a bit. Now, this bit is completely optional, um, but you can do it, and obviously it will change the name uh, for the Bedrock clients. You can change this, because at the moment it says Geyser, another Geyser server. You can put your own server message to pop up when people log in. Um, same with this bit here, you can change this over. So I've just changed mine over there, and we're going to scroll down a little bit more again. Now, this is the bit that has primarily changed. When you scroll down here, you see the remote address here, and you see this is set to auto. Um, and this is your port. Previously, we had to put the same port as our server into this bit um, and put our IP there. Um, this bit hasn't changed, so we're going to come grab our IP address over here. In the config, we're going to come to again, this is under the remote section um, where it says address and auto. We're going to highlight auto and we're going to be putting in our IP address to the server. Make sure that we don't have these extra spaces and like last time, there is a space between the colon and the first number. Now this bit has changed. So here, instead of your port number again for your server, we're simply going to write auto. Huge shout out to this dude that pointed me out um, on YouTube how to do it because everybody started saying it's not working um, and then suddenly he, he just comes up, he goes, this is the fix. So 
thank you. Um, and yeah, this is this is how the video is possible. So thank you very much. Uh, we got that sorted out. Um, again, now under Port Auto, we're going to come down a little bit until it says Auth Type, where it says Online. This is what we want to change over to Floodgate. Now that's changed over, Bedrock clients can seamlessly log in uh, without having any sort of sign-in screen. What we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and save. Um, we will also be logging in, of course, just to make sure that this is working. Come back to your server panel and start the server back up, and that is literally it. We can now close down the second tab, so we don't need it. This will start up in a, a minute or so, and we can just straight log in with our Bedrock account. Very exciting. So that's back up, let me load up Minecraft. Now let's head on over and add the server. If you also want to find out how to make a cool IP address like this to join your server, check out my other channel, the other channel that I'm on, which is the Seeker Host channel. Um, I'll leave a link popping up now um, that we actually go through that. You do have to spend a little bit of money, so it's like £4, £4.99 a year, uh, but you do get a specific domain which you can use, and this is for any client, so Java or Bedrock. Of course with Bedrock, you just have to put your port in as well. So do check that out. Actually completely forgotten my port, so let's just come over and copy this. Let's go put our port right into here. Now the big moment, let's just go ahead to save. As we can see, it does now say JDog. Um, let's just wait for that to sort itself out. <laughs> I don't think it's there. We go 45 ping, that's much better. Let's join and let's see if we just seamlessly go on like I've promised. Absolutely perfect. So we are on. Um, that's loaded up real nice actually. Probably, oh there we go. <laughs> I thought I was looking into nothing. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you found that helpful. And you can all get started on your cross-platform servers. Bye-bye.